Okay, so I've been playing around with Ubuntu 20.10 and I do like it as an operating system, but I've definitely found that uh, YouTube doesn't play that well. Uh, and it does feel slower than versions that uh, Wimpy had released of Ubuntu Mate. And also, well, this version of Ubuntu Mate, I did a video on, I'll put a link in the description. This is the best performance I've had on Ubuntu and, uh, and it worked really well. And this was a build that came with lots of things in it. So I would, for now, I would probably go back to this one. But let's try and overclock this. Let's try and sort out the YouTube uh, 1080. Just try a few things that I've learned uh, to try and fix it. So I've got some, I've got some notes here. I've installed a few things into this and I've tried to install lots of others. I tried to install PyKiss uh, and I also tried to install PyApps, but both of them failed. Uh, PyApps kind of worked, but it, but still the individual apps won't work. Right, let's have a look. So yeah, I installed Gparted and NeoFetch uh, and Gparted was in the store, but NeoFetch, if you want to install that, sudo apt install NeoFetch. And then if you go to a terminal, you can just type in NeoFetch, not with that bit in the end, NeoFetch, there you go. And, uh, and it tells you about the status and everything else. So you can see this is my eight gig Pi, and at the moment I'm running at 1.5 gigahertz. So let's address that. So this is what you'd normally do uh, with Raspberry Pi OS if you're gonna overclock. Uh, and I'll show you why this won't work. So paste that in, hit return, uh, pop my password in. So you can see it's blank. Uh, and that's because the config.txt isn't in that location. So let's go into this uh, folders here, go to other locations and computer. And so normally uh, you'd find it under user config.txt. It was under boot and it was under user config.txt, but it's not there. Uh, but if I go into the firmware folder, you can see that I've got a config.txt file here. So I click on that and you can see this has got all the sort of settings you'd find for booting. On previous versions of Ubuntu, they have said to do user config.txt, but I couldn't find that in the usual places. So I figured I'd have a look and see if I can do it with this. So boot forward slash firmware. So it looks like the only thing we need to change to that line is put in firmware as a location. That's better. So this all looks very familiar. Uh, it's, it's what we were just looking at. So I need to put in the overclocking settings in here. So shouldn't matter too much where I put them. So I'm gonna put them here, but I'm gonna do it. So let's copy my normal overclocking. Now this is my eight gig pi, and I generally use an over voltage of eight. So I'm gonna change it to that as well. So over voltage eight, 2147, and GPU frequency doesn't usually make a difference uh, in Raspberry Pi OS, but I'm gonna leave it on, on this because obviously this is slightly different. So control O, hit enter, control X to exit out. Uh, obviously overclock at your own risk and only overclock if you have uh, suitable calling. Uh, so reboot. Okay, so I'm back in. Uh, I have been playing around with some other things, so this has been up and running for a little bit. So let's do NeoFetch and show you that it's showing us 2.2 gigahertz on the overclock. So the overclock has taken. Uh, it's been on for 39 minutes because I've been trying other things and, and failing. So let's go back into Firefox. Let's go into YouTube. This is slow. So if we go to my channel, and we'll try this Stadia video. And you can see this happens. So I've installed H.264FI, and uh, it looks like enabling H.264FI means it doesn't work. So I thought I'd try a different add-on. In fact, let's get rid of that first. Can you right click and get, yeah, remove extension. Because I wonder if some of the others do it a little bit different. So add-ons. 
And if, if this doesn't work, we've still got chromium. So enhanced H264 if I. Let's try that one. I've used that one before. Add to Firefox. And add. Left click on it. So block 60 FPS video. Let's try that and see what happens. Let's open up Firefox again. So let's go to history. Google Stadia is getting there. There we go. Let's see if it will play it with these. Yeah, it doesn't. So whatever setting here uh, is meaning that Firefox doesn't like it. So we'll give up on Firefox for now and uh, we'll try Chromium. I've installed Chromium just from the ordinary store from this one here. Uh, it just type in Chromium and so there's nothing really to show on that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the video quality was bad on this as well. So this is without changing anything apart from obviously I've got the overclock. Oh, I've got a Stadia advert. <laughs> uh, you can see already it's jerky. What resolution is this on? So this is on 480 and it's jerky. Ugh. Let's try 720. God, still, it's bad, isn't it? I don't think HT6405 is going to fix this. I think it's under settings, extensions, HT6405. It's overall very slow. Right, I guess I'll go for the normal one because that usually works all right. Add to Chrome, add extension. All right, let's click on that. Block 60 and enable H264.05. So let's close that down. Let's copy that. Close it down and start it again. Which is painfully slow considering it's got an overclock and everything. There must be something else affecting this that doesn't affect it in other versions of Ubuntu. Yeah, it's still bad, isn't it? Let's go with 1080 anyway, even though it was struggling with 720. Let's get rid of that advert because that's probably not going to help. And skip near the end where the capture is. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, very disappointing. Okay, so I don't know where to go next, really. I'll keep on looking, keep on trying, but I thought I'd show you uh, where I was at. But at the moment, I don't think Ubuntu is 20.10 is that usable because the video playback is so poor. I mean, if you don't need video playback, the rest of the OS seems all right, uh, but it's certainly Raspberry Pi OS is much faster. Twister OS is much faster. And also that SSD version of Ubuntu that I showed earlier on is much faster as well. Okay, so I'll keep trying. Um, it is strange how uh, Wimpy made so much progress on video performance and various other things on Ubuntu Mate, and this version of Ubuntu comes out and the video performance is put on the Pi 4. But it's only just come out, so I'm sure they're going to be looking at it and uh, someone will work out a fix. What, what I find weird is that uh, ever since WebOS came out, we have had good 1080 performance on the Pi 4. Um, so this video 10 months ago, so this was overclocked to 2 gigahertz, and the video performance is excellent in it. Uh, it's strange that we can't have it on, on all the operating systems. Anyway, I hope you like this. Hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.